Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful plat bracelet only out of seed beads. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself until the end of this video. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and also a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see a preview of this work and decide if you feel like making it or not and this will save you time this is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips you could also go and subscribe there for new inspiration and just to save time thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what I'm using here for this project are three colors of 11 0 seed beads and you could use 10 0 seed beads if you want this is toggle clasp, you could use regular clasp or clasp of your choice. These are two jump rings here. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle. These, these are scissors, these are pliers and I use my pliers uh, to go through the difficult bits and to attach this clasp here. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and this should be enough for my project. If not, I will add more thread and I have a lot of tutorials where I'm showing how to add more thread. If you don't know how to do this, just uh, ask me in the comments and I'll give you a link to a place where I'm adding more thread. Okay, so now I'm going to see you in a while and start. Okay guys, and now I will start with a really simple stitch here with the so-called herringbone stitch and I'm starting by picking up two seed beads and what I want to do is slide those down okay, just like this and I stick my needle in my mat and now I have this and now guys, I'm going to make a knot here by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I make one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure okay guys and now I have my first row ready and I will go through one of my beads in this direction just like this and I'm going to take two more yellow beads okay I have them here and as I'm exiting from one of my yellow beads I'm going through the other one and then I pull okay now I have this and what I want to do next is go through the second one of my first two beads that I added okay like this I go through it and I have my second row of herringbone. Okay, then I'm going to take two more yellow beads and as I'm exiting through one of my yellows, I'm going through the other one, adding those two beads. Okay, and I pull like this. I pull like this. And then I go back in this direction and I go through those two beads. Sometimes my beads might go in this direction but when I pull tight everything goes on its place. Okay then I'm taking two more and I'm going here through the following seed bead. Okay then I go through the following two in this direction okay I have four rows and I'm taking two more yellow beads like this and I go through the neighbor yellow bead I pull tight and I go here 
in my next two beads just like this and now guys I have those five rows of beads here and now guys what I'm going to do next is make 115 rows and uh, this will be 18 and a half centimeters long which in inches is 7.3 inches long and then I'll be back to show you uh, this uh, yellow herringbone okay see you in a while okay guys and as I told you before I have my long row of herringbone ready and and it is 115 rows, 18 and a half centimeters, which is 7.3 inches. And I have this now. And now I'm going to show you how to cut your thread. Because this is obviously ready and you should make a knot and cut your thread. And I'm doing it by going through these two beads. And then I'm making here a knot by making a loop going twice through this loop I've made, pulling and then I'm going in my following bead just like this and I cut my thread and now I have the first part of my bracelet ready and it will consist of three of those parts and I will make another like this from the orange and I will make another like this from the light orange and from the dark orange and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to continue okay guys and now I have three of these stripes ready they are almost the same number of rows uh, sometimes uh, they could be less than 115 or more but the important thing is that they are 18 and a half centimeters which is 7.3 inches and this uh, difference comes from the different lot of one and the same manufacturer sometimes it happens with long rows to have a little bit of difference okay but anyways i'm going to show you how to connect those three stripes together and start making your plot your bracelet okay i'm taking here a new thread on my needle I'm going here through the third bead, counting from the end. And here what I want to do is make a loop just like this. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and now I have this then what I do is that I go through these two orange beads okay just like this and now guys I'm going to cut this excess thread here because I don't need it okay I'm cutting it and what I do next is that I go through those two beads here in this direction okay and I pull then I take my next color which is light orange and I go through those two beads in this direction Okay, and I pull, now I have this, then I go through those two light orange beads, just like this, okay, and I take the yellow, and I go here, okay, and I pull, then because I want to connect them I will go one more time through all of those beads okay going in this direction through the light orange pulling then again but from the center to the outside edge ok 
okay then again but from the outside edge to the center okay like this and one more time through the last two orange beads from the center to the outside edge okay now i have this okay and since i'm exiting here what i want to do next is take three dark orange beads and then i'm going to take three light orange beads and three yellow beads okay this is what i have on my needle and what i'm going to do is as i'm exiting from this orange one is to go through these two yellow beads okay just like this Okay, then what I do is to zigzag through all of those beads and go one more time around this loop here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. And I did one more reinforcement off camera. And if it's difficult for you and you need to use pliers, you could just use 10 seed beads and you could use 12 beading needle, size 12 beading needle to be easier okay and i did it anyway and um, i used my pliers to do this but i didn't want to uh, watch me do this okay that is why i did it off camera and here i'm making a loop and i'm going once then i'm going second time through this loop i've made i make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and then I go through the following seed bead, just like this. Okay, just like this. And I cut my thread. Okay. And now, guys, I have the first part of my bracelet ready. And here is where I'm going to attach my clasp okay guys and now i'm going to show you how i continue with my project i make here a simple plait okay i'm doing it like this I'm making sure the tension is even. Okay, now when I'm ready with my plait, I just go like this and make sure that it's all nice and even. Like you see here, it's maybe there is more tension and I want to loosen it up and push this to this part because I want everything to look nice and tight and now I'm here at this end and what I want to do is repeat absolutely the same thing that I did from the other part I'm not showing this again because I already showed it once. I'm going to attach this thread to this side here, like this. And then I will be zigzagging through all of my beads and add this type of loop with uh, yellow, light orange and dark orange. And after I finish this, I'll be back to show you how I attach my clasp. Okay guys, and just to show you the stages, this is how I connected those three rows together like I showed you in the beginning. And now what I want to do is take three dark orange beads, three light orange beads and three yellow beads. And I go here through those two yellow beads. Then off camera, I will do zigzagging and reinforcement of this part 
and I'll be back to show you how to make a knot and cut your thread. Okay, and I did a reinforcement of this part. Didn't want to make you watch me doing this with the pliers. Okay, then I'm going through the following seed bead here. Here I make a knot by making a loop going once and going a second time through this loop pulling repeating this step if you want more and more times then going through the following seed bead and cutting my thread okay guys now this is what i have and as i told you you could uh, change the here the tension to look better okay and when you're finished when you like the result you can go and attach your clasp here at the edge okay now in order to do this i'm going to take my jump ring and part of my clasp like this and what i do is that i open up here this jump ring I put it here on my work and I put my clasp and I squeeze back the same way I opened it okay and now guys I have my clasp attached and I'll do this from the other side as well okay guys and now i have my plot bracelet ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a full list of materials Link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And you will find a fast clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips. And you might also want to subscribe there for new inspiration and just to save time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.